Uh, hello guys, uh, to welcome to today's lecture. My name is Hadi. Today I'm going to make a program which takes the uh, data of three employees from user and display it as a table uh, using a structure. So guys, uh, a structure was defined before main function. We can just uh, define it here using struct keyword and giving it a name just like uh, employee and uh, this is uh, writing the semicolon um, automatically and inside that we are going to use as integer of uh, id and age which are both uh, integer type and uh, you are going to take the name as the chart data type and uh, it should be array because char will take only one character but if we use array it will take many characters and we can just uh, give them uh, fixed length for example uh, fixed length of 20 20 so this was the uh, id age name position this also take the position char position position would be also 20 so for taking three I need to have three objects how about if it was uh, 500 employees so we need to have 500 objects so we can use an object as an array we can have an array of objects so here I'm going to uh, make it as uh, object obg of uh, 3 because we have uh, 3 employees so we are going to limit that to 3 array so here if uh, I just want to take the um, values from user first I am going to display a message enter employee employee which employee the first employee id age and name we can use a for loop to take the uh, data from the user because that would be a little bit uh, better for us because it will take uh, less time uh, it will take less time and also less memory so let's just uh, make a for loop first but before that I'm just going to have a variable declaration user i for loop i is equals to 0 because i starts from 0 up to 3 i is less than 3 and i is plus plus each time it's going to be plus so I'm just going to put this one also there see out enter employee here let's just write employee what employee here I'm just going to put I plus one because it will start from one I starts from zero plus one will, it means that it should start from one employee one first employee employee number one uh, data ID I'm going to write ID comma age comma name comma position position so here I just wrote a message for the user uh, you can just enter the instead of backslash let's have backslash in for taking the inputs uh, we are going to have obg obg of i because each time it's going to be changed obgi dot first this is id so we need to have the id one then oh sorry this is here then obg of i dot next time this is age and next time this is obg of i dot name then position obg i dot position 
So we have taken all the inputs of uh, three users. For displaying this, we need another for loop. We need another for loop. We are going to use the same variable i. i is equals to i is equals to zero. It just starts from zero. i less than three because we have only three. And i plus plus. Now, uh, oh, before that, we have to display uh, table of table of employees employees backslash n. Then after that, I just need to uh, display the hmm. first. I'm just going to write this. This is ID. Then name. First ID should come. So for the ID, we will use. Uh, um, here I just need to oh, sorry instead of that I'm just going to write ID ID then backslash T we will use this after six space because two space is taken by ID then ID uh, backslash T will uh, give only six uh, spaces so yeah, after six spaces we are going to have ID uh, sorry after ID we are going to have name then backslash it is after four space we are going to have a um, h should be first yeah let's write h then backslash t we are going to have position position then backslash n this is done then we are going to print out the values which are inside our memory or inside our variables so here we are going to say C out. The first time we need to uh, display the OBG of uh, ID. We are going to just copy this one here. Then after that we just need to have a backslash T. Backslash T. After that we are going to have a... Let me just copy this one. And write it as OBG. After ID, we are going to have name. After that, we are going to have uh, age. Then let's have the position. So now this is done. After that, we are going to have a backslash n for putting the cars into the next one. Sometimes, uh, if our name is more than eight character, uh, it will take another space from that uh, outer part of uh, uh, age. So let's just uh, check it. Then I will explain. So enter employee, uh, employee one ID, age, name, position. First ID would be, for example, twenty. And uh, its age age is uh, 23. Uh, name is Ahmad. Position is uh, IT. So enter employee 2 ID age name. Then this has 22 22 ID and age is 45. Name is Ali. And uh, the last one would be position oh uh, position is uh, manager manager enter employee 3 id age name position now if i give uh, the id as uh, 23 and uh, the age would be 43 and name would be uh, ali ahmadi now it is uh, around nine nine character and uh, its position would be again it so let's see what happens this is the table first we had table of employees then id name age position here if we see uh, the employee name of third employee is ali ahmadi that was more than eight that is nine 
character that is why this is this the age is has come into position and this is position has come out of the bound so we can also use here as uh, ob uh, as two backslash t in uh, where is it? yeah after name after name we can use two backslash t after position uh, before uh, yeah, after position no need because that's the last for no need for that one so now we can have uh, more spaces let's see what happens next time the first one is yd is one the age is 45 the name is Ali Ahmadi and the position is uh, IT yeah IT it's okay and try and play to ID um, 2 age is 34 name is Ali and position is manager and try and play 3 ID next time we are going to M dot D. oh sorry i just made a mistake and instead of id i just put the name so it's okay see now name has uh, too much power then after that we are going to have uh, here the mistake was that uh, we didn't uh, we didn't use uh, backslash t over here oh, I'm so sorry I didn't use it here I just need to put uh, backslash t here also so I need this one so now it's fine now if we go through that let's just do it again one age is 45 name is Ali Ahmadi and uh, position is IT enter employee 2 ID Next one will be 2 and uh, 34 is the age. Name is uh, M dot and uh, it's a it's uh, position is uh, manager. Enter employee 3 ID ID is 3 and uh, age is 54. Mm, name is uh, Ali and uh, position is IT manager IT manager so table of employees ID name this one age uh, here I just used oh I again there is a problem again in name I just used the uh, backslash t two time so it gave me two backslash t so guys uh, let's see what happens oh uh, yeah because i gave two backslash t that's why this is going to make more space if it was one backslash t so it was fine uh yeah for this one for those who are with this backslash t so guys uh, instead of backslash t two backslash t we should use set w set weight uh, that needs another library you can use that one also uh, uh, I'm going to tell you in the next lecture the usage of set weight or set the set w uh, and its library also. So guys, uh, see you in the next lecture and let's see in the next lecture what will happen with the set w.